friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on how to determine the solution of the time invariant state equations so let's take a problem <music> So our problem is we are given a linear time invariant system and it is characterized by the homogeneous state equation x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot there are three state vectors uh, three state variables and uh, the matrix is given to us the initial state vector is also given to us as 1 0 0 and we have to find out the resolvent matrix that is phi s and state transition matrix phi t and the solution of the given equation so let's try to solve this problem first we can see that this is a homogeneous equation because in the state equation no input is given to us that is the input is zero so this is a homogeneous system so for homogeneous system the solution of the equation we have to calculate the solution of the given equation so we will use the formula for the homogeneous equation okay that is solution of the time invariant system which is homogeneous because input here is zero Now first we have to calculate the resolvent matrix phi s. Phi s is given by si minus a inverse. So first we will calculate si minus a then we will calculate it inverse. So that inverse will be equal to the resolvent matrix. si minus a inverse is the resolvent matrix so for this we have will first calculate si minus a now a matrix is given to us in the question we have in the question we have this state equation so when we compare this state equation with the x dot equals to ax plus bu we will get that this a matrix is this 3 by 3 3 cross 3 matrix so the value of a matrix is minus 2 1 0 this is our a matrix so we will calculate si minus a i is an identity matrix so that identity matrix is multiplied with s so it will become s 0 0 0 s 0 and 0 0 s all the diagonal elements will be s then minus a matrix So SI minus A will become S minus minus 2 that is S plus 2 then 0 minus 1 minus 1 so this is our SI minus A now we have to calculate SI minus A inverse so we will write here 
SI minus A inverse is calculated by dividing the adjoint of SI minus A with its determinant. Now for calculating the adjoint, we have to first find out the cofactors of SI minus A. Then we will take the transpose of the cofactors matrix. So that will be equal to adjoint. So first we will calculate the cofactors. Because it is a 3 cross 3 matrix, so we have to calculate the cofactors. If it will be 2 cross 2, then we can just interchange the elements and we can easily directly we can calculate the adjoint. Now for cofactors, we will just take uh, each of the elements. First, we will take this first element. We will hide the row and the column containing it. Then we will multiply the rest of the elements. Take the determinant of these elements and then change the sign. If it is uh, its uh, indices like this is A11, then we have A12, then A13. So this 1 plus 1, it is an even number. So we will not change the sign. Then we have 1 plus 2, this is 3. So it is an odd number. So we will change the sign. So we will change the sign for this element, this element and this element okay so let's calculate the cofactors for this we will hide the row and the column s plus 2 into s plus 2 then uh, minus 0 into minus 1 okay so we will have cofactors as s plus 2 into s plus 2 for second element, if we hide the row and the column containing this element, then 0 into s plus 2 and 0 into minus 1. So it is 0. Then for 0, this element 0 into 0, then 0 into s plus 2. So it is also 0. Then taking the second row, first element, we have minus 1 into s plus 2 and 0 into 0 so minus of s plus 2 but we have to change the sign for it so it will become positive so it is s plus 2 then for middle element if we hide the row and the column then s plus 2 into s plus 2 and 0 into 0 so we have s plus 2 s plus 2 then for the last element 0 into s plus 2 0 into this so it will be 0 now third element minus 1 into minus 1 it will be plus 1 and then 0 into this so we will have 1 here okay 1 into 1 and 0 into s plus 2 for second element minus of s plus 2 but we have to change the sign so here we will have only s plus 2 then for this last element s plus 2 into s plus 2 So these are the four factors of this matrix. Now these are the cofactors. For a joint, we will just take the transpose of this matrix and uh, then we have to calculate the determinant. So a joint will be transpose of this rows will become column and column will become rows so this is our column it will become the row so this is a joint of si minus a now we have to take the determinant We have the matrix SI minus A, so determinant will be S plus 2 and then S plus 2 into S plus 2 and 0 into minus 1. So we have S plus 2, S plus 2 and S plus 2. Okay, then this element minus 1 and the determinant of the rest of the elements. So these two, this we have to hide minus 1, 0 into s plus 2 and 0 into minus 1, it is 0. So all the terms, rest terms will become 0 and the determinant is only s plus 2, s plus 2 and s plus 2. 
Now for calculating this inverse, we have to divide the adjoint with the determinant. So we have this as the adjoint and this is determinant. So just divide these two matrices. We will divide this, we will get S plus 2, S plus 2, it will be cancelled. So we are left with only 1 upon S plus 2. S plus 2 again divide. So we have left with 1 upon S plus 2, S plus. Then this is 1 upon This is 0. This will become 1 upon S plus 2. This will become 1 upon. So this is our SI minus A inverse. Now to uh, resolvent matrix is this SI minus A inverse. So we have calculated our resolvent matrix phi. So this is equal to the phi S which is the resolvent matrix. Now we have to calculate the straight transition matrix. State transition matrix is phi t. So phi t will be equal to Inverse Laplace transform of phi s. Okay, so the phi s we have already calculated the resolvent matrix. We have to just take the inverse Laplace transform. This is phi s. So 1 upon s plus 2, its inverse Laplace transform will be e raised to the power minus 2t. So we will write here e raised to the power minus 2t. We will just apply the standard formulas of the inverse Laplace transform here. These are simple formulas so we can directly calculate the inverse Laplace transform. Then we have 1 upon s plus 2 s plus 2 so its inverse Laplace transform will be t e raised to the power minus 2t. Then we have 1 upon s plus 2 q so it will become t square by 2 e raised to the power minus 2t. Then this is 0. So we have just taken the inverse Laplace transform of all these uh, standard expressions and uh, we have the this uh, resolvent matrix was there and from this we have calculated the state transition matrix. Now the third uh, thing which we have to find out is the solution of the equation. Now this we have uh, in the starting I have told that this is a homogeneous system because input is zero it is not given to us in the question. So because input is zero so we will just use the standard formula of the solution of the uh, time invariant equation for homogeneous system which is given by phi t x t this is the solution of the homogeneous equation so phi t is our state transition matrix and x t is the initial state vector which is given to us already in the equation so we will just substitute the values phi t, e, uh, phi t is e raised to the power minus 2t And the initial state vector is given to us in the equation as 1, 0, 0. So when we will multiply these two matrices, we will get e raised to the power minus 2t into 1, this into 0, this into 0. So we are going to get 
e raised to the power minus 2t then second row multiplied with this column so we'll get 0 then third row multiplied with this column we will get 0 so this is the solution of the equation and this is our answer we have to calculate three things first is the resolvent matrix phi s second was the state transition matrix phi t and third is the solution of the equation and we have calculated all these three variables so i hope that this problem is clear to you and you can easily solve the problems which are related to it thank you